I just noticed on this uh, Impulse 32 while I was just changing the cable because the uh, original one slipped on the collet so I'm changing the cable and the collet out um, that from factory it's not even lined up properly you can see or you might be able to see the the cable itself is quite a bit lower than the than the shaft so I'm gonna have to fix that is my sonic weight is exactly the same I on that one I had to uh, pack up the the stuffing tube here to pull it out and put something underneath it but on this one I can see I've got slotted or a bit of adjustment on the motor there which is slotted so where those bolts are so I'll take them out and I'll raise it up a little bit uh, no I've got to go down actually oh it looks like it's on the bottom all right well I'll figure it out Okay, so I pulled the motor out and had a look at the adjustment on those two bolts and it can't go, the motor can't go down anymore. It's already down as low as it can possibly be. So I'm going to put that back in and figure it out from here. Okay, so I got this, I got this off that, that holds it on there. It's, it was on there really tight. It seemed like it was going to break and I had to really force it off just to get that off. So now I should be able to lift this up. Uh, and then I'll pack something un underneath there and get it get it lined up. Okay, so what I what I'm going to do is I've taken the motor out so I can um, put this in there, and I'm lifting it up like that. I've got to actually lift it quite away because the the cable is pointing right to the bottom of the five millimeter shaft. So what I'm going to do is just put this cable tie underneath the bottom of it, which I can't do while I'm holding the camera at the same time, and see if that lines it up. Okay, yeah, that, that actually worked a treat. So I've just got my cable tie running along the bottom here. Um, you can almost see it there where I just haven't, you know, haven't trimmed it. So that's sitting underneath there, and now she's lined up. I actually did have to slide the motor up just the tiniest bit on these two bolts here. I mean it was sliding in and out okay before, but it was just just touching the top. Now it's perfect, there's no resistance there at all and that's exactly what you want. And this is a cable that I've just uh, cut myself and I haven't soldered it. I actually never do on my own ones, because if you get them straight you don't have to force them in, that won't fray. You just clean it up on the grinder so there's no nothing sticking out there and if it's dead straight it will just go in there first time every time like that